What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania with all this week. It's the middle of May. We're almost halfway through the year, which is wild. And you guys know we've been crushing it with used guitars. We want your trade-ins. We'll buy your guitar. We'll do whatever it takes. Uh, have a sweet selection of used stuff. Um, our used collection has really grown, which is awesome. It's like I, looking back, we were just kind of lamenting because we really didn't start really pushing with used guitars until last year. And I think maybe we had like at one point like 12 used guitars at once or something like that. Like it was always they like were selling faster and we could replenish. And now we're getting close, we're creeping toward 100 used guitars in stock, which is awesome. So we're really expanding our selection. We want your trades, we'll make you a smoke show deal. That's, I mean, like I said, I think most of this stuff, probably about 50% of what I'm going to show you today, it comes from people out of town where we send you a label. We take care of everything for you. We make it easy. And that's when people come here. Don't forget, we do that full pro setup to factory spec, making sure the guitar is dialed in, whether it be new, used, high end, entry level, anywhere in between. Check out all the stuff right at Empire. Now, I've got an awesome selection this week, and we just took a ton of stuff in yesterday and the day before that aren't processed yet and haven't gone through our texts and the photos and all that stuff. So next week's gonna be a smoke smoke show too. So it's like a lot of fun. Today, something for everyone. I got triple A top Gibsons that are uh, pretty sweet. I got American made bases from a brand that we don't stock. So without further ado, let's hit you with the stuff you probably know from us. Taylor 412 CE R, one of our great customers, Steve. This is a 2023. Steve is a guy that loves to try new guitars. <laughs> very often is always trading this guitar is in beautiful condition it's a 2023 solid Sitka spruce top east indian rosewood back and sides obviously a beautiful tobacco finish uh ebony fingerboard and a bridge short scale so if you like that kind of uh slinkier finger style feel this will give it to you um mahogany neck taylor expression system built in the original factory case this is a killing deal and it's like yeah it's like 2100, 2199, you know, it's just like on a $3,000 new instrument. This will not last. Phenomenal choice. Rosewood extra bass, extra top end, tons of clarity. Super responsive in a grand concert. Super nice. Good choice. Now, the flagship Taylor 814. And if you're looking for a sneak peek, for, I don't know if it'll make it next week, but we have a limited edition version of these. So if you're interested in this and you don't see that limited edition online yet, it probably, probably won't make it until, I might make it by the end of today. Who knows? We'll see when this video gets up, maybe it'll go. Um, but if not, we've got some beautiful E14s. This is the one though, this is the guitar that made Taylor guitars, Taylor guitars, um, grand auditorium body shape. So this is kind of like that sweet hybrid between Big enough to play with dreadnoughts, but still uh, smart enough and articulate enough to, with the thin, you know, narrow waist and smaller, you know, tighter shoulders, keep you the clarity that you want. V-braced, Sika Spruce top, classic East Indian rosewood back and sides. The cool thing with the 814 is, you know, now it comes with the armrest stock. Um, they also, you know, we carry them new and with builder's editions, so with other features. But the cool thing with the 814 is you always get the armrest, you always get the classic spruce. Um, and Rosewood Combination Expression System, V-Brace, standard scale length. It is, and this is also super, super new as well, 2023 as well. So both really, really new, which meshes nicely with a little foreshadowing regarding uh, Builder's Editions is a K14 CE Builder's Edition. Now what's a little different with the Builder Edition models is um, the main feature sets that you get on all Builder's Edition models are rolled edges, so they're called chamfered edges, which this has. Um, you get an armrest. You get the recessed heel. You can see the heel block usually is typically out here, right? And if you're playing down the neck, that's something to stop you. Here they've cut it way back, so you have extra access up top. Then you also get the recessed cutaway. So if you really do like to access these higher frets, it's great. You know, for a lot of players that were up here, we don't recognize that, but we definitely recognize the rolled fingerboard edges. We definitely recognize that armrest. Uh, the K14 is a solid Sitka spruce top that's baked, a Torfi top, giving you a more mature sound with a beautiful Koa. Look at that Koa back aside. Kona edge burst finish. Absolutely stunning. Um, go to 510 tuners. The silent satin finish is a very thin finish. You can really feel kind of like the woodiness of the sound because that, I mean, less finish is always gonna give you a little bit of a different tone. This guitar is a 2020, is it 2018? 2018. So really beautiful condition. I think we sold this guitar originally too, which is really cool. So uh, got your acoustics covered. 
hook you up on all this good stuff. Now, I think we've had some of these in before. This is a Lakeland base. These guys are out of Chicago, which is kind of interesting because the um, not tons of manufacturers out of Chicago, but um, these guys have been around since the 90s and they're um, obviously doing like, in this instance, a Fender style jazz bass, alder body, uh, maple neck, rosewood board. They have vintage jazz bass uh, voice pickups. They're into relicking now. This finish is like a like a, an aged Cadillac green or something along those lines. This was made, uh, the finish was made for uh, Sweetwater initially um, as an exclusive. So, you know, kind of like a little bit more rare of a finish. This has a roasted maple neck, hip shot tuners, all great components, well-made instrument. A lot of guitar for 2000 bucks used. I mean, it's just like, it's just a well-made instrument. Their presentation of their pickups is that it's kind of got like a more of a, that scooped out growly jazz 60s sound. So if that's what you dig, this would be a good choice for you. It feels great. It's got it set back from the guys downstairs so getting it set up, it's money. Now, Fender Player Plus Top Strats. I'm gonna kind of build to the, I'm gonna start with the most basic. I'm gonna build in the electrics. <laughs> player Strat, you, if you've noticed, the Player Stratocasters, the new ones have dropped a little bit in price. That means something might be coming, so keep an eye out for that. But in the meantime, plus top, the, we always kill with these. Uh, these are awesome because this has like an aged cherry sunburst finish on it, which is, I don't think, a tr not a traditional color for strats, but definitely one that people dig. Uh, the flaminess is great, but otherwise it's basically a straight ahead player. So you get, this has a maple neck, standard C neck shape, very comfortable, kind of sleek, um, nine and a half inch fingerboard radius, player Alnico pickups. This is, the cool about the player stuff and being made in Mexico, and this is, uh, this will play into the next one too, just broadly, in this price point, I love instruments that come out of the Mexico facilities, whether it be Martins, Taylors, uh, Fenders, because those brands own those factories and they're built in facilities that are owned by Fender, made with Fender parts by Fender people, just made in Mexico, as opposed to import guitars, which are made by third-party companies and that gets a little dicier, a lot more things to keep an eye on. So the fit and finish on this is great. And what that means is it's like, if you're looking for your first really solid electric guitar, I've got it for you. If you're looking for that guitar you wanna take out and gig with with your buddies and um, don't wanna take out your $2,500 or $4,500 guitar, you can play bar gigs with this forever. Um, just They're just a guitar for everyone. You can find a reason to have this in your collection. It doesn't cost you a million bucks, $550, awesome. Next up, PRS. SE David Grissom signature model. Uh, David's known as, well, he's an Austin bass guitar player, but he's known for touring with Mellencamp. He's just a really uh, one of those like players that you probably don't know unless you're a guitar geek and I always mean that lovingly. Uh, just like a, a really well respected tone junkie. He, this is like a based off of McCarty, it's got a patent tremolo on it, which is really cool. David's footprint on this guitar is the pickups. He wanted humbuckers that had kind of a vintage experience, but he still wanted some versatility. So they put a coil tap down here at the volume control. So now you have um, our tone control, and now you can split those pickups if you want, get you some single coil action, flame maple top, mahogany body. Cool instrument, you know what I mean? It's just like, just PRS has always looked good. Lightweight, super comfy. Now, the guitar I was most excited to show it off on the electric side today. 2023 Gibson Les Paul Supreme. They just released these last year. And what's really wild about this is they made Supremes before and the Supreme wasn't quite supreme enough. It was like three or four years ago. And this time they definitely got it right. First thing you know is 3A flame maple top with fire burst finish, ultra weight relieved. So this is like a very light Les Paul. Mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard um, with cool thing with the inlays here is this is based off of uh, the fingerboard inlay and the headstock inlay are based off of a 1940s Gibson design that never saw the light of day and they found it in the archives it was really slick. Pro Bucker uh, and Pro Bucker Plus pickups, compound radius 12 to 16. I don't know too many Gibsons that have compound radiuses. But the secret with this guitar is the flexibility. All this stuff comes up so you can run things in phase, out of phase, tapped. There's tons of flexibility in the Sonic experience here. Super slim neck, medium jumbo frets. It's dialed, locking tuners, gorgeous instrument. Uh, save a bunch on a new one. We have new ones too, so there it is. That's old this week at Empire. Check out empiremusic.com. Go to the site, 
chat with us, call us, tell us about your trades, tell us about the guitars you dig. We will hook you up, we'll get your labels, we'll make it easy, we'll take care of you fairly, more importantly than anything. It's just like, I would say these guitars are here because we did right by the person that traded them in. So we really wanna help you get the next guitar that you want. We'll take care of you fairly on this. And we send that next guitar out to you, whether it be with the trade or not, we will dial it in and make it hooked up so it plays great out of the box. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. This is Old This Week.